Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Dr. Bill Williams, and I am excited to have Ash Forth of On Passive here again tonight for our series on people want to know questions, answers. There's a lot going on in On Passive. We're so close to the final days of the big launch coming up 2020. You know, it's only two more months in 2020. There's going to be big events happening every week leading up to the launch. So, we want to start to take a hot air balloon ride with Ash tonight, and we're going to go up in the sky, and we're going to drift into the direction the wind blows us. We're going to go places and see things from a 20,000 feet. No, I don't want my air, my hot air balloon going 20,000 feet. Let's go up about 1,000 feet. 9,000, yeah. Let's, let's look down on the world and see the world from a different perspective tonight. We'll, we'll take the rocket ship once we launch, but right now we're doing a hot air balloon. And so let's take a, a, a look over the horizon. We're going to go up a little higher. We're going to look over the horizon. And, and normally what we look at every day is what's right around us. And we really can't see that far. We just, we get by day to day, right? So let's go up in that balloon and look at the phases of on passive. What's this going to be like? in a year or two or three, what's it gonna be like when we're already successful? What's it gonna be like when we've already started our projects that we really have been dreaming about? So that's the mission that we have tonight for a few minutes to talk with Ash about. Does that sound good to you guys? All right, Ash, go ahead. Sounds and good to uh, me. Tell me about what your, your phase is right now is pre-launch. And we're going to enter launch any minute now. Good to see you one more time, Dr. Bill Williams. And I'm uh, pleased to reconnect with you one more time. And you always come up with brilliant questions. And I, I'm uh, having fun with you. Uh, perhaps uh, the key word is launch. Uh, there is, uh, in my opinion, like two, at least two ways of uh, operating a business. You open a business. It's like you put a sign. Let's see what happens. Or you launch. Launch, you are following the uh, bamboo tree uh, theory, which is you, uh, you, you take a long time to, to prepare and nourish, you know, the, uh, the tree. It takes five years below the ground. You, you know, you seed it, you uh, take care of it every day. The, you weed out, you, you water it uh, uh, for five years, nothing is happening. And then it takes off in five weeks, 90 feet above the ground just in five weeks. So does it take five years or does it take five weeks? Uh, the keyword is launch. And when you launch, obviously you take that boost and you go a very high uh, you know, uh, altitude and, and then you look. Uh, the first thing is you're above the bubble. You're above the crowd. So it's authentic, it's something uh, above average is unusual. So you, you would have that, uh, uh, not only authority, but you have that capacity that you can see broader uh, and, and also have the analogy since, you know, you and I like to use those kind of uh, analogies in our uh, discussions, uh, like the, 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 the light, uh, you know, for, on, on the car's hood. Uh, so you can see certainly seven or 10 or 20 miles ahead. You may see a mile or two then, you know, now when you get there, you see a little bit more. So realistically, uh, we can be more accurate as we go. But what we are doing, we are a well-organized company. We are not a random company. We took a very long time in the preparation. I know every day either we prepare or repair something from yesterday or the past. So Unpassive is preparing for good success at a, at a large scale. And uh, uh, definitely we're having multiple boosters. If you know the Falcon Heavy uh, with three boosters, uh, SpaceX. Uh, so it's, uh, it's not one booster. So by the time we uh, deploy one, then we take another booster and so forth as, as, as needed, as uh, uh, suitable. Uh, we don't have a timeline for that. Uh, and I, I really wanna invite every uh, 
founder, future customer to enjoy the process is not to look at the outcome and like the ceremonial events uh, that can happen, you know, in a day or two, but rather we are already in that uh, movement. Uh, it's, it's a revolution in the making and every day is a great event and we should enjoy it. Uh, it's, a, it's a one time, uh, you know, historical moment uh, it is remarkable so i uh, i enjoy it uh, with my heart and that's why because i don't think this is going to be repeated anytime soon uh, so uh, we will have to begin with the the foundations the foundation is is we need technology to uh, to to save our time to give us that time freedom to automate our activities that are consuming so much time like whether to generate prospects on social media or to connect or to, to figure out that, uh, you know, tool or this software or to connect or, uh, so it's overwhelming. So that is already a big time saving that will enable the personal freedom. But as a doctor, you know, and, and your uh, colleagues, you probably can relate to that. Many can be okay financially, but they don't have that time freedom to enjoy the process. So uh, it's it's a complete thing. We couldn't give freedom without that financial aspect, then it would rather be uh, uh, boredom, <laughs> not freedom. Uh, but then you tie it up with the uh, financial uh, element of Unpassive, the, the money factor. Now it's given us the financial power is giving us the time power. So now we are freed from the daily burden and, and activities, whether it's financial or technology or, you know, uh, 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 the, the, the usual, as, as we know, the repetition of the boring stuff. So just, just get ahead in life. And now we can definitely be more creative, more innovative and, and more, uh, you know, ad advanced uh, in all aspects of life. What a true meaning of leadership is when you inspire others, not only to uh, adapt uh, your uh, uh, dream, but also replicate it and pass it on to multiple generations. And I don't mean uh, by ages, I'm talking about different levels. So I inspire you, you inspire your the people around you, uh, they inspire others. So it goes like uh, the ripple effect. And uh, that's when we have a movement. Uh, so I think uh, I could uh, positively be, uh, uh, you know, uh, confident at this point that we are at this stage right now and on passive. Uh, we were able not only to replicate the dream but the, uh, the attitude and the personality, the uh, uh, humanitarian aspect of Unpassive among so many uh, individuals and leaders across. So this is where you just put out that foundation of time and financial uh, improvement in our life and, and nothing but greatness can follow that. As far as specifics, obviously we're constantly uh, thinking and, and, and looking ahead. So uh, we have to be ahead of the market. So whatever technology we offer, it's not for now. It's likely to be sustainable for the next four or five years. But I don't say this is gonna be the technology for the next 20 years. That's impractical. But uh, once we get to that five years, we are already lining up uh, the next set of applications that we need in our life based on what we foresee at that point. Do we have proposals? Yes. Do we have things that will take you to the cloud? And I mean, uh, data centers and hosting and all, of course, you know, do we have a, a, an idea about something space related? Of course, I'm passionate about that. Do you have, I'm a big advocate. Uh, do we have something to do with medicine, okay, or medical, you know, uh, connectivity? Yes. Do we have ways to uh, develop our own devices? But this is, you know, not only proprietary, this is, this is our life. And, and you know, uh, we must keep it to, to our heart at the, at the time. But I think, you know, 
I'm being open enough to say there will be physical products. There will be uh, further investments in different sectors of our life and different fields and niches that will, uh, you know, continue to uh, pile up the value that will attract humanity to 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 stay connected within this uh, amazing. Uh, uh, movement on passive. It's just a foundation. It's just the beginning. So we're going to have the ecosystem f- loaded with technology, the products that will simplify the time, uh, uh, our life, and give us the time and financial freedom. And from there, it's going to lead to uh, the second phase and, and third and fourth. I can tell you the first ecosystem set of on passive, that which is where literally a very, uh, you know, in, in, within reach almost to that phase, okay? Post that, uh, and I consider that is like uh, on, on a scale of a Mount Everest uh, uh, altitude, this is like base camp or, uh, you know, definitely one of the lowest uh, uh, altitudes. So uh, we have way to go, and I have a little bit of a stubborn bold uh, statement i say always once we reach the top what do we do we invent a new top and and we're going to continue so there is no cap for on passive there's no limit uh, and if you say the sky is the limit but what's after the sky so we, we're going to continue it's an an infinite thing and what we will you and i and and and, and our beloved founders and future customers what we will lay out is the foundation for uh, the next generation or so, so that we can focus on what works, what matters, what 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 keep us connected and advance us as uh, humans, and perhaps you know eventually uh, you are gonna ignite that desire, that uh, creativity within our staff. You know, every uh, once in a while they're gonna come and say, "What about this?" Some other uh, you know leaders are gonna say. For my country or culture, this will be suitable. So there's no uh, certain, like uh, I would say, uh, boxed or framed uh, track that we just like we're gonna, you know, stick to it and go. Uh, there's no limit. There's no frame. Only our imagination. Uh, so I I can definitely dive above the, uh, you know, 1,000 miles and even go higher, but. Uh, but I don't think this is, uh, uh, you know, something that uh, will be limited or contained. It, it is just the spark. This is just the beginning of something uh, rather long term. I wish, you know, uh, it will be and I, I believe it will be a very, very uh, powerful legacy that we will be proud uh, to leave for the generations to come. I think you've hit the uh, nail on the head with the analogy of base camp. Uh, a lot of people thought that the tip of Mount Everest was the uh, end result. We'd end up with the 40 or 50 products, but it's going to go beyond that point And it's going to be an awe inspiring trip. So people should latch on now because the, the ride is going to get even better. Uh, you talk about the, Go Let ahead. me say this. So we, we decided to take uh, our friends with us, the founders. So we didn't, uh, you know, choose uh, to say, what can we create that will attract people? What we decided to do is let's, let's lock arms together uh, as, you know, uh, founders. And uh, we're going to create uh, product after product based on customer experience. We are testing as we go we are uh, constantly adding improving sometimes we have to redo but it's all good i don't even count you this might you know surprise you by the way uh, i don't even count is a 40 50 and that's not the the thermometer in a way uh we create what's needed what we believe is is valuable and we keep on piling this value uh it's, it's only going to grow. And here's the best part. Uh, we don't upsell. We don't increase prices and, you know, play those uh, marketing games. Uh, it's, it's all clear. Uh, you see, you get what you see or you see what you get in a way. That's it. It's a flat rate. 
and everybody would need it. Well, once it starts, it's going to be a ride because people will be shocked at how good it is. It's it, one of your tenets of uh, business is that you always deliver more than you promise, right? We try. That's the point. You know, if anybody hears something that they think is not good, it'll always get better. It won't get worse. So there's a thing called the Global 1000 Club and Leaders Club and things that are going to be attractive to people who are founders, people who join now before the launch. So let's speak to the people out there who, who enjoy being in that sphere. You know, do you want to be among people who are like-minded? And we're, we're looking to attract uh, good people, influential people to our founder group because we feel like it's, an, it's a league of extraordinary gentlemen as we've uh, heard uh, a movie called one time gentlemen and gentle women. We, gentle is important. Uh, we are a, a cadre of people who have a heart. It's been shown in the uh, many videos that we think about how to serve people. We think about how we can give back. So let's talk about what, what are the purposes of some of these groups within the founders? That's a great uh, topic as well. Uh, so uh, I do believe uh, leaders always, uh, you know, inspire each other and uh, we kind of raise a bar. There's a sense of accountability in there. Okay, so uh, I, I like the like-minded mentality and I, I want to be surrounded with like-minded people. And, and, you know, successful uh, individuals like yourself, you know, um, we know this, the, the saying your network is uh, your net worth and your net worth is your network. And, and if you want to find out the, the net worth of, of someone, just find out the first five uh, connections within their f immediate network that will give you a clue what their net worth is. Uh, so it is important, those immediate founders, uh, their quality, their level, uh, definitely a great, uh, uh, you know, indicator of, of the direction and uh, uh, what should we focus on. And, and definitely uh, also you want to have, uh, if there's no pressure in business and there's no, uh, uh, I would say, uh, evaluation and feedback and criticism, it it, it, it might be kind of a tasteless, plain, and it can be dragged. Uh, so uh, I enjoy that uh, accountability that comes from the founders and, you know, a sense of anticipation and, you know, excitement and, and you know, all of that anticipation around, like, let's do it and what we can do more. And you also open their minds for, for broader uh, uh, you know, uh, directions and, and what we can accomplish together. So uh, it, is, it is a big uh, part of our process. We couldn't do it without them. Uh, and uh, uh, the, the quality is just about right. Uh, you know, they're keeping us on track. Uh, I couldn't be happier or prouder. Uh, it's, it's not just the numbers, it's the quality that we've attracted uh, but I, I think if, you know, if you want to uh, make and build something uh, br like unusual or above average, you've got to have above average human or uh, individuals along the way. Uh, you cannot have above average company or that uh, business empire or unicorn, as we like to call it, with just average or below average uh, individuals. So I'm, I'm just uh, at a point where I'm humbled. I couldn't ask for better or more uh, with the quality of, uh, of our attractive. And, and, and I think, you know, we all agree, we attract who we are. This is, you know, the, the mentality that we have and it just, you know, people see it, they connect. Uh, what's unique about those founders that uh, they have the ability as leaders uh, to see and realize and recognize that promising vision. As we know, vision is the ability to see the invisible. Uh, and, and as a trade for that, they've, they've given you the trust is not uh, so much a uh, costly 
uh, you know, process. It's more of, of that time engagement. Uh, uh, you can take a, a lump sum amount of, of, of dollars or euros from someone. I truly believe it can be recovered at some point in their life. But if you take an hour or two, year or two of their life, uh, that is unlikely to be recovered. So we value their time and, and we value that they give a, they've given us the trust and support and the faith. Uh, and, and, and in return, we want to give them advantage and uh, uh, features that will also uh, recognize them uh, now and long term, uh, whether by giving them, you know, certain clubs and, and travel and events and connections that are not going to be accessible to the general public, but rather exclusive to the founders. What we're doing now uh, in, uh, in our uh, Go Founders platform is totally exclusive. Uh, this experience is going to be lived from one uh, class of Unpassive, the founders. Uh, nobody's going to know what's happening in the community or the leadership council or what's happening. Nobody's going to have the ability to pre-build their business or their network. Nobody's going to have the ability to understand all of the, this massive vision uh, except the founder. So they have, you know, uh, those uh, many, many features that uh, are unique and they're not going to be repeated. Uh, after launch, we already announced there will not be a founder position ever available in the unpassive uh, world, period. It's, it's not going to be av available in a year or 20 years or forever uh, at any price. So, so it is a, uh, it's a fair trade, I, I believe. You know, uh, they're give, they're give, they gave us their time and, and trust and, and support in return, we're giving them everything we can to uh, uh, expedite their process to reach their goals. So I believe uh, they're in the best possible position in, in terms of, and it doesn't matter when they came in uh, as founders. Uh, if they are founders, they are in the best possible positions in, uh, in Unpassive. Well, that's, that's comforting to know if you're a founder already. And I know there are a lot of people who are counting on uh, being winners in life because they're founders. There's a lot of people out there who are sitting on the fence, of course, thinking about, should I join on passive now as a founder there? See, the thing is you can't see the products until they're launched. And a lot of people are skeptics and they want to see the product to believe in the product so they can build their trust. And it takes them a long time to get there. But then what's going to happen is the founder positions will be gone before they decide. And so that's the quandary a lot of people are in. So what would you say to those people who hear the story but can't cross that line? Well, I, I certainly appreciate that. And there's no pressure in our uh, process. It's a, it's a free will. And uh, if they don't see it, we're, we certainly were not going to force it. Uh, they're simply not visionaries. Okay, They don't have that ability to see something invisible. Uh, perhaps those who decided, even we said we're not going to show, but if you you know firsthand, we're showing. We, we're not revealing the whole vehicle uh, at once, but we're showing parts, okay, as a teaser. And and it's for obvious reason. We're, we know marketing. We know competition exists. We know this is a unique, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, business model and unique uh, technology and technologies. So we cannot just reveal it and open it and it's not complete. Uh, so we're transparent to say, if it was complete and we're, we've tested everything and okay, we're ready to, 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 to introduce it to the rest of the world. But as of now, it's not 100% tested or complete. It is very close to that phase. Once it's ready, then it will be visible. But those who, took that, you know, courageous step and believed and put the effort to do their due diligence, to investigate, to look a little deeper, uh, it pays. But if they're just going to 
uh, be in a transactional mentality, show me, I give you, when you give me exchange or trade, uh, that's not exactly the leadership mentality. Uh, I'm, I'm amazed by the quality of uh, 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 you know, uh, leaders we've attracted. Uh, why? Because if, if you kind of make it, if you sell it too hard, you're gonna get, you're gonna get you know a mix of uh, all uh, levels, but uh, we kept it uh, simple that if you can see this and you feel comfortable, you give us that support. We're gonna give you more, and uh, I believe uh, uh, it it is fair to say. Uh, I mean, it will explode someone's mind if they come day one and show them you know this is our masterpiece all at once. Uh, we cannot do that. Uh, so we have obvious reasons and they're all legit reasons to keep it close to our chest and heart. Uh, but but it's, it's showing little by little. I mean, you cannot cover 254,000 human beings. There's no stadium in America that fills in quarter million, you know, uh, audience, uh, so no mall, you know, or one place that you can fit in that only in on passive. I'm talking about, uh, you know, this type of business, but, uh, you know, with that comes that privilege or the advantage that they receive in return. If it was open for everybody and just like any walk, uh, so somebody come and believe it, then there's no exclusivity in it. There's no exceptions in it. So I, I think it's, it's just a very beautiful thing. And I'm, uh, I'm happy where we are. And, you know, we're not going to push anybody. If they don't see it, they don't see it. Is it going to cost them? Are they going to regret? I do believe so. Uh, and it's not in any way implying they should, you know, reconsider. If they didn't see it, uh, it's, it's kind of a two-way street. And it's, it's like marriage. It's, 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 gonna, it's not going to be healthy if we kind of like push them into it. So if they're not comfortable, we're fine too. Uh, it's, it's not going to work. So it's better for them to keep doing what they're doing. But if you see it, you're going to enjoy this ride with us. So we've talked about the phases of on passive where we are in the valley climbing up to uh, base camp. You just describe base camp. You just describe how the process will unfold at launch and what products will be like. Now, go to the next phase. We know the products will be coming. There'll be a tech side that's developing, but there's also going to be the humanitarian side that is growing. And uh, let's focus on that a minute because you've really attracted a lot of people with a heart for missions and special projects, giving back, uh, crowdfunding of special projects. Um, how did that come to be uh, a focus of on passive and, and how big do you think that'll be because of the 80% left over? I'm saying 20% will live on and 80% will be left over because of the numbers that we're expecting this thing to grow to. Yeah, uh, th this is a powerful uh, topic. I actually, uh, uh, I mean, whatever we're doing or practicing and on passive, this is something we've done all along. We're just making it better and, and, and you know, stronger and bigger uh, in one place, uh, writing our own rules in this game. So uh, I never felt like I've accomplished, you know, I've been, in, you know, in, in high positions in life and I've been way under, okay? And I'm fortunate to say that, and that is a good thing to experience in life. Uh, what has given me is the ability to recognize that your fulfillment or happiness, if you wish, is not necessarily related to your uh, financial balance in life. Uh, so, uh, but I've, I've seen firsthand things that will make you more fulfilled, will make your success more meaningful. So we can accomplish big numbers and talk big, you know, figures, uh, but it may be meaningless without any direct effect 
on humanity. Uh, at the end, we're humans, and you know, a tree can be always a tree. A dog can be always a dog, but but a human can you know be unstoppable. Uh, so uh, what a good uh, thing! People are in a way stuck. They uh, and and when we talked about our leaders and the quality of the founders, we didn't make them. We may inspire them or kind of re revive what they already have. Uh, people are already great or are great in in many ways. Uh, we just want to motivate them to and help them to be unstuck from that financial burden in a way and mm -hmm. then uh, do things they like to do uh, I come to know that uh, in our DNA it's proven that the the, the, the gift of uh, and the fulfillment of, of giving is 10 times more rewarding than taking so it's always uh, refreshing to find those ways. So, uh, and I think it will help us also to manage the imbalance in our life. So you don't want to create a certain class, uh, like you know the Silicon Valley, the uh, you know IT uh, giants, and then everybody else is watching. So I I think it 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 has to do to to level the playing field in a way. That really does bring to mind my first mission trip to Kenya, Ash. Yeah, we finished. We finished like up the. Yeah, we finished up our our uh, two week mission trip, and we were always finished up with a campfire, and we go around and sing songs and we tell stories about what it was like, and you know, it's, we sit every other one a Kenyan, an American, a Kenyan, an American, because we had a mostly maybe some Canadians and some other, but mostly Americans went over on this mission trip. And so we would tell stories and uh, those things uh, meant a lot to me. They impacted me a lot with what I got. And then at the very, very end, the leaders went into a, a, a hut, you know, and we sat around the table drinking Kenya tea. It's a ceremonial type of thing. And they wanted to know from us how we felt. And we wanted to know how they felt. Because they, on the first time we went over there, they thought, well, maybe these guys won't come back. And so right then I, I had a discovery myself. What was it like to serve somebody? You know, I went over there thinking I was going to serve them by doing dentistry and we had medicine and we had uh, spiritual, and we had all kinds of things we were doing, building projects. But I told them, I said, I got the biggest benefit of you guys letting me serve you. That was my reward. And uh, it is 10 times more important and meaningful. And you, you get the uh, hormones circulating in your body to give you pleasure. And it's a hormonal release physiologically for serving people and people might not realize that service is a, an activity and you have different hormones that are released when you need different uh, feelings. You know, you can have one for pain control, endorphins, you can have exactly. one for oxytocin, yep. the love hormone, make you have the feeling of love for somebody. And so these different acts of uh, service give you these hormone releases that are very important in life. And when people understand that there's not just, I feel it, you are feeling it. You're feeling the effect, just like epinephrine makes your heart beat faster. Adrenaline. And I believe it's a beautiful anti-aging product. Look at Dr. Bill Williams. He's not aging. So uh. no. <laughs> who needs to age? So it's, it's a great product. Yeah. So let's, let's, let's talk about meetings around the world. You know, the phases of, on passive are that we're not going to stay in Orlando and Atlanta every day and be doing on passive from here. So what's the vision you have around the world in the coming year? Yeah, this is, this is where actually that give back aspect, uh, you know, comes into play. Uh, so uh, there are a lot of people are looking for on passive or, or the, the solution that they don't know on passive is that solution. So they will find us, we will find them. But the, those that are not even looking, they just 
they're so trapped into life's problems and issues and and they just want to get they they, they want to survive they want to be safe and healthy uh and and we have to look for them uh so uh our duty as a human being we have to go and and extend that hand uh it is unfair for you know uh us to be so privileged in in every way and just you know have that uh, lavish uh, lifestyle and then uh, many, many uh, millions, they're just fighting for a meal in their life. So uh, that is where my drive comes into. So we needed to figure out that financial solution so we can fill our tank. We can be that strong. You cannot give what you do not have. So uh, of course we're not anti-wealth or, uh, you know, being, uh, you know, financially stable. Yeah, that, that is good. That is needed. But then we will have that ability to give back, to share the wealth. And, uh, and obviously, uh, I believe what's unique about on passive in general to kind of recap uh, the whole, in, you know, dental uh, uh, terminology, the crown uh, on the whole thing is um, uh, we're AI and we are IT, but with heart. Uh, and it's, it, everything evolves around uh, our humanity and, and our well-being. Uh, so uh, uh, I believe uh, we can uh, touch more uh, lives if we have that element in our business model. And I believe, uh, we, you know, we can be uh, the most unique uh, IT company uh, that uh, comes with this, you know, emotional uh, pack uh, because uh, I believe it would drive a lot of motion. Remember the E stands for emotion. It drives a lot of motion behind it. E, then motion. So when there is emotion and there's that bond and connectivity, it's like a tribal thing. You see people, I've never heard a person say, um, I love uh, Intel. <laughs> the high tech company, right? Or you know, AWS, Amazon Web Service, changed my life. I never heard that. But I can see that endless. I love on passive. I love, you know, this uh, family. I love that. So that harmony between us and that uh, amazing positive bond, it drives a lot of emotions. And those emotions create more impactful uh uh, you know, passion. So that gives more conviction. Conviction, you know, creates more motivation. Motivation creates what? Action. So I believe it's also a business brilliance in a way to have such a powerful, impactful business model. So it's a win-win. Uh, it will give us more fulfillment. It will give a good break and fair share for those who are around us, Okay. Uh, globally, and at the same time, you know, uh, our legacy or our success is far more meaningful and, and rewarding. Well, Ash has been yep. very fun tonight again, as always, so thank you for the time. It's uplifting to get these uh, stories, insights, and visions to be put in flesh on the idea that maybe on passive is something that people will join and like and be a part of. So I encourage all of you to talk to the people who sent you this video. You know, you're going to, you're going to be getting this video, um, not knowing us, but you know, somebody that sent it to you. So I would encourage you guys to look at this business before it launches, certainly, because it's going to mean a wealth of uh, information that you got to assemble in your mind before you can do it, but just uh, take a short time and do it. Think about it and jump in because there's nothing better than being a part of our team. Thank you so much, Dr. Bill Williams. It's a, it's a pleasure always. And uh, uh, meanwhile, I want to thank you for everything you're doing to our community and what, we, what you've done for humanity. And I can't wait for more.
So thank you, and uh, let's do it. Catmo. Yes, indeed. TF. <laughs> Have a good one. All right. See y'all.